Alright fellas, so first of all you need to go right inside the NVIDIA control panel and once you are right inside you need to go to the adjust image settings with the preview. You need to select the use the advanced 3D image setting and you need to click on this and after that you need to navigate to the bottom right corner of the screen and click on apply. Once you are done you need to navigate to the configure surround physics in the left navigation of the NVIDIA control panel and once you are right inside make sure the processor in the physics settings is selected as your GPU. Do not select the CPU or auto select. You need to go with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 16. 60 ti this is my graphics card and you need to select this one once you are done you need to navigate to manage 3d settings and make sure you are in the global settings now we are ready to apply the best nvidia control panel settings for gaming first of all for the image scaling make sure it is on and keep the sharpening at 50 percent and make sure to enable the overlay indicator you need to click on ok the next setting is ambient occlusion you need to make sure you select the performance for the anytropic filtering make sure it is 16x anti-aliasing fx AA, make sure it is on for the gamma correction you need to make sure it is off because we do not want the noise in the video games when you are playing for the anti-aliasing mode we have to go with over at any application settings for the anti-aliasing settings we need to go with 8x for the anti-aliasing transparency you need to go with 8x super sample for the background application max frame rate you need to go with on and keep that frame rate to the maximum such that 200 fps or whatever available for your pc and click on ok for the CUDA GPUs you need to select your NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti this is my graphics card you need to select your GPU here and click on ok for the CUDA system fallback policy make sure it is selected as driver default next is DSR factors it depends upon your resolution in my case I have a, a 2k resolution such that 3840 resolution and once you're done click on ok for the DSR smoothness it will make your games very smooth but if you feel any shuttering in the games you can reduce it it is it is automatically applied up, up to 33 percent so I will click on ok for the low latency mode you need to go with on for the max frame rate again you need to click on on and make it at its maximum such that 1000 frames per second and click on ok for the monitor technology make sure you have G-Sync compatible if you are using NVIDIA graphics card you will see the G-Sync if you have AMD graphics card you can see the free sync compatible option here for the multi frame sample MFAA you need to make sure it is on now the next two settings are very important open GL GTA compatibility you need to select prefer performance here the next is open GL rendering GPU you need to select your graphics card here for the power management mode you need to select prefer maximum performance for the preferred refresh rate you need to go with application control for the shader cache size you need to go with the driver default for the texture filtering negative LOD bias you need to select it as clamp for the texture filtering quality make sure you select the high performance for the texture filtering trilinear optimization you need to make this as on for the 3d optimization you need to click this as on for triple buffering you need to make sure it is on and leave all the settings as it is except the Vulkan opal gl preset method you need to select preferred layer on dxgi swap chain and once you're done you're good to go and you need to click on apply at the bottom left corner of the screen and your changes will be applied automatically once you're done you need to navigate to your nvidia geforce experience and you need to navigate to drivers once you're right inside you need to click on these three vertical dots you will see two options here game ready driver and the studio driver we are gonna go with the game ready driver because it provides the best experience for the gaming and you can download and install the game ready driver you have applied the best nvidia control panel settings for gaming thanks for watching this video have a nice day